Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie. So we may have learned about Rhaegar Targaryen coming on Game of Thrones. Most of us thought that he was going to show up eventually, but now it seems like we actually have some more evidence. So this is going to be an explanation of what's going on. So the big news is that the lead singer of IC Stars, Devin Oliver, announced that he was basically doing some Game of Thrones. He's like, I may or may not have filmed some Game of Thrones in this post here. And you don't really tease something in that way if you haven't done it. So everybody is thinking now that he would be a great Rhaegar Targaryen just because one, he's a singer like Rhaegar was, and two, he has like the fair features that Rhaegar is described as having. Like he wasn't like Robert Baratheon, like this hooking giant beast of a man. So like all throughout season six, we got flashbacks to Robert's rebellion. It makes sense that they would use more flashbacks to create context for the scenes that are happening during season seven, many of those adding context to Jon Snow's parentage. So we learned who his mother was last season, but they muffled the audio when Lyanna was explaining things to Ned, just kind of like letting you know as the viewer that they really only want you to know that Lyanna Stark was his mother. That was the whole point of this big scene here. So any other explanations would be saved for other scenes. So anybody that's read the books or you've been following the theories, even if you haven't read the books, you know that people believe that Rhaegar Targaryen is Jon Snow's father. Just all evidence points to that. Martin's been building towards that reveal. It's kind of like this Romeo and Juliet story that's told in flashbacks on the TV show. But there's a little more evidence for it in the books just because the show has to cut out a lot of the books. So why would it be important that Jon Snow's father was a Targaryen and the heir to the Iron Throne? Well, the big reason would be is if you wanted to get rid of Cersei, who is the queen now, and you needed another legitimate candidate that had an important name that the people loved. So Varys talked a lot about Daenerys when he was explaining that to Tyrion during season five. But now we have Jon Snow. He is also a Targaryen, so he could use one of two really respected names, but he'd have an actual legitimate claim if his father were Rhaegar. Now, it's not quite so simple as that, but you can understand how the TV show would compress a lot of that. So you have like all the people that love Jon Snow already just because he's Jon Snow. That's what the Little Bears speech was all about. I don't care what his name is. He's the king in the north. So you have a lot of people like that, but that's not everybody. There's still people that will not support him if they don't think he's legitimate. They won't back his claim. And the other lords who he's trying to gain support from would probably want him to cement an alliance with a marriage. And that's really where you get into the idea of lineage, legitimacy, when it comes to the nobles of the kingdom supporting a marriage. So you got to be popular. That's one part of the equation. Jon Snow already very popular. Two, you have to have the name. So the second part is a little bit harder to prove, but it would make sense if Jon Snow is going to eventually make a play for the Iron Throne, they would create context in the show to explain why that's possible. Like right now, Daenerys seems like she's the only person who's gonna be making a play for the Iron Throne. But then were you to learn about Jon Snow's father on the TV show, forget the theories, just imagine the TV show revealed that, then you'd be like, well, wait a minute, if he's the son of the heir to the Iron Throne, then you start doing the calculus in your head and it gets way more interesting. So at the beginning of the season, you have Cersei versus Daenerys. You have Jon Snow up in the north trying to get ready for the White Walkers. And then in the background, you have the idea of Jon Snow's lineage, the true heir of the Iron Throne, that they won't really need to explain until you need to get the support of the South. Because that'd be like the easiest way for Jon Snow to get the entire kingdom to support him and defend against the White Walkers because that's really the end game. Like you need to get everybody on your side when White Walkers make it south of the wall. And the best way to do that would be if you were king of the Seven Kingdoms, you could just order everyone to send their troops. So there's just a number of reasons why it would be important that they finally reveal who Jon Snow's father is. So however big any flashback scenes are remains to be seen. There are only going to be seven episodes, so I'm not expecting as many flashback scenes as we got during season six. But there are only a couple big ones that we need to know now. One, we need Tourney at Harrenhal. Two, we need Battle at the Trident. So they could do any number of Rhaegar flashbacks that they want. But let me know in the comments, do you think that this guy is actually playing Rhaegar in a flashback? or he just happens to have white hair and has a cameo somewhere. It's just that there aren't that many people that have white hair in A Song of Ice and Fire and are not Targaryens. It is extremely rare. But other really cool things that are happening right now, for those of you that are big book readers, they released enhanced editions in the iTunes store, so they have a bunch of illustrations. They're actually really cool. So if you're reading the books right now and you want like an even cooler edition, you have to buy them in the iTunes store. I think they're exclusive to iTunes. 
But no worries, I'm actually gonna make the giveaway for iTunes gift cards. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. There's more cool Game of Thrones stuff happening next week that I can't talk about yet, but there's cool stuff, so just stay tuned for that. And Westworld is premiering on HBO Sunday night. I will do a video for that first episode. It's supposed to be crazy hardcore. It's more of like a sci-fi spin on a big Game of Thrones type universe. So I recommend you check it out. It's a cool story, but it's supposed to be a crazy pilot episode. While you guys wait for my next video, you can click here to watch the season seven teaser trailer again. And you can click here for my first Luke Cage video. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.